Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is April 18th, 2023. And that is Sitting Bull. Sitting Bull, leader of the Sioux Warriors. He defeated General George Armstrong Custer of the Battle of Little Bighorn. And his saying, he's got two dogs inside of him. One is evil and one is good. And his favorite saying is, which dog wins the fight? The one that he feeds the most. Guys, you're not gonna wanna miss this content. Today we are going back to the Bronx where that Navy and boiler we fired up to relocate those hydronic heating lines. Superseding a job for a contractor is not easy. And today you're gonna find out why. Ladies and gentlemen, Every single one of you should have a little sitting bull sitting right inside you. Sitting bull, first name Slow. His father gave him the name. One day coming back from battle, due to his bravery, and called him Sitting Bull. The famous saying, his famous line, He's got two dogs inside of him. One is mean and evil, and the other one is good. Guys, every single one of you should have a little sitting bull right in front of you. Man, that is my, that is my greatest, my greatest force leader. If there's anybody I had to pick on my team, it'd be sitting bull. Guys, we're heading now to the bar of the Bronx, wishing everybody a great morning. I'm gonna warm this truck up a little bit. It's only 49 degrees out here. It's 7.15 a.m. Guys, I hope everybody had a great Monday and an even better Tuesday. Guys, we're heading to the bar of the Bronx to trace these hydronic heating lines after superseding this job from this contractor. And man, it's not gonna be easy. Guys, you're not gonna wanna miss it. I'm gonna take you along for the ride. And uh, first, we're gonna head towards Astoria. We're gonna pick up my partner. Hopefully today he's not some ca he's not a little camera shy, but we're gonna try to get him on the camera one day. And uh, we're heading to Astoria to go pick him up on our way to the Bronx. So, guys, you're not gonna want to miss it. And uh, let's do yours next, baby. All right, ladies and gentlemen. And this morning, this morning is carrot juice. This morning, I felt like waking up this morning and doing some carrot juice. So that's what we're in the mood for today. Great source of vitamin A, guys. Great source of vitamin A. Right now we're taking a little detour. We're gonna be heading on the, yes guys, we'll be heading on that bridge later on. That's the Throgs Neck Bridge, heading to the Bronx. But right now we're heading to Astoria. We're heading to Astoria to pick up my good old partner and I hope he's in rare form this morning I hope he is and he usually is guys we're heading towards 82nd Street and Astoria Boulevard where we're heading towards one of the biggest correctional facilities over there Rikers Island where they transport some of the baddest and reckless of prisoners and this guy's acting retarded in front of me and he wants to act cool and I don't know why but he's driving like an idiot he's got a hood on and he's one of those woke black lives matter people and the guy's an idiot <laughs> but it's really not worth it getting into anything with people out here especially when you're driving in your company car because we work so hard for what we have, and man, I ain't ruining it for anybody. That's for damn sure. So, guys, we're going to sit in a little bumper to bump of traffic this morning because that's just the way it is out here. But guys, if you're in the Astoria, Queens area, you go check out the Sandwich King. Sal Chris's Sandwich Shop over there. Man, they are putting out Subway heroes like you wouldn't believe. Man, go check them out. I'll leave a link down below. But they're looking for some good food. 
New York City is where it is. The city that never sleeps. All right, guys, let's go ahead to Astoria, Queens, and uh, might even give you a little tour of uh, Rikers Island facility. Here we go. All right, guys, so we just got off the Cross Island Expressway, and we're heading towards Northern Boulevard and Astoria Boulevard. And those of you that have never been to New York and are Met fans, that City Field right there that took place, and don't mind the bird shit right there on the window. <laughs> that is City Field right there that took place of, wow, good old Shea Stadium. Good old Shea Stadium. Man, that that uh, that stadium is, was a landmark, but they got rid of it, and now it's City Field. Another beautiful stadium. And that stadium there, uh, they have all waterless urinals in their bathrooms. And that is a great feature. They have these oil pods that are left in there. And there is no water in these men's bathrooms that serve the urinals pretty cool go check it out if you can uh that's a local one plumbing building that uh that was done and there's in-house local one plumbers working in there during the during the baseball season but right now we are heading towards or passing LaGuardia airport where we'll be flying out of next month because we're heading down to Florida for our birthday and uh we'll be down in the sunshine state I want to get some sun because Man, April is a tough month out here, weather-wise. Weather really, really is bipolar out here in the month of April. And uh, we're going to go enjoy it for the month of May. But guys, let's go uh, give you a little tour of uh, passing Rikers Island facility where they transport these prisoners. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're just passing LaGuardia Airport over here. And, um... Man, I don't I wanna I hate giving bad reviews, but JetBlue, you gotta step your game up. You gotta step your game up out here. You know, it's it's They're not what they used to be. And now it's all Delta. Now it's all Delta. I gotta admit, I have to admit, they're doing billions of dollars of renovations in this airport and they're going on for quite some years now. But there's the Marriott Hotel right next to it. But guys, those of you that fly, and you girls too, wives, girlfriends, sisters, <laughs> yeah. Those of you that fly often, TSA offers this security pre-check advantage to those that want to pay for it. Uh, I just signed up yesterday for it. It's seventy-six dollars, and it's good for five years. But um, you have to go down to, and the process is still, I'm still working on it. I signed up yesterday for it, but you have to go down and get interviewed. Um, and have to sit down and ask you some questions or whatnot. But you, the security checkpoints, you fly, you, you breeze right through security. Um, no, there's no more of taking your shoes off and your socks off and no, wait, do you take your socks off? I don't think you take your socks off, but you do take your shoes off and everything, your belt, your jewelry. Seventy-six dollars for the for five years. And uh, TSA offers this pre-checkout um, that gets you through security checkpoints that much faster. So if you fly often, it's real. It's a really nice luxury and it's a it's a real nice. Um, convenience to be honest with you but um guys big thumbs up to delta i don't know what happened to jet blue lately but man they gotta step their game up um man it's all it's usually been delta for me now lately and um you know they give you they give you nice free headphones um they got nice seats nice cabins they give you some nice snacks along the way on a short flight but um guys those of you who fly check out tsa's new pre pre-security checkout um security pre-check um it's really nice for 76 bucks for five years i mean how could you go wrong if you fly often even if you fly one time a year 76 dollars you know for not taking your shoes off and getting through security that much faster 
big thumbs up. Go check it out. All right, guys, we're heading towards Astoria now, and uh, we're just passing Rikers Island's uh, transport facility. Here we go. And why didn't you guys yell at me for not having my seatbelt on? Because this damn truck keeps beeping like a freaking broken record. Let me put this damn seatbelt on. Here we go. <laughs> and here we are, guys. New York City's boldest. Right there. Right there. That is the entrance to where they transport. All the woke people. All the woke people. Rikers Island. It's one place you don't want to be. But guys, we are in the neighborhood of Astoria. And the Grand Central Parkway is right there, right behind us where we came from. So, all right, let's go pick up my partner who is in rare form this morning. He sounds like he's in rare form, but uh, <laughs> we're going to go wish him a good morning. And uh, we need him today to trace these lines. So uh, let's go get it done and uh, let's put this job to bed already. Gentlemen, good morning. Ice cold. Manny, good morning. Good morning. How are you, gentlemen? Good. How are you? I'm okay. I'm trying to see what's going on here. Nice and hot. Wow. Let's see here. Primo. How are you? Okay? Good. A lot of work. Holy shit. Guys, we are back. You can smell the heat. You can smell it. All right. All right. That one, not hot. Remember that? 90, up. Not hot. No bueno. Let's see. Okay, hot. Let's see. All right, Man, take it easy. Everything's hot except for this. Except for this and the hallway. You can smell it. Feel that one? Hot, right? That is nice. Ice cold. So it's ice cold. Let's look. Yeah, let's look down so, there if I need a little right. well, Ladies and gentlemen, hope everybody's having a great Tuesday out here. We are heading oh, tight quarters. Good thing to stay skinny, guys. Finn is in. Let's head to this Navy and let's see what we got. We do have a call for heat. Let's see. Where are we going? Okay, we got ignition. Man, she's hot. There's the other one, she's hot. Let's see. Supply temp. Supply temp, 168. Return, 163. Five degree delta T. Let's check the exhaust temp. Exhaust temp, exhaust, exhaust temp. Exhaust temp, 138. Beautiful. Let this thing run. Supply and return. We got to trace these because I believe the contractor stubbed up in the garage. But let me see if this system's empty. Let me see if this boiler is empty here. Uh, I'm going to need a longer hose. I need a longer hose here, mama. But let's see. Let's see what we got here. Maybe I could, I could drain from here. Let's see if there's any water in that. Oh, the boiler there. Let's see. Put this on. Put this in here. Let's see if there's any water in that other. Oh, yeah, there's water in there. Oh, yeah, there's water in there. There's water in there, but let's shut the fill off. Where's the fill? The fill is off. Let's shut the fill off. Let's drain this sucker. We're gonna drain this and then we're gonna drill a hole in those two lines upstairs. Drain this, make sure this guy's still running. All right. Let's open this. Let's pull the air out of there. Let's open up the relief valve. All right, good. Get all this water out of here. All right, let's go upstairs, put a screw in that line, and see what we got, and here we go. That's the foyer, that's the front door. And this is not hot. Not hot, and the living room here, not hot. That's tied into this supply return that's on the other boiler. So this is on the other boiler. That's on the third floor, yeah. So these gotta get 
capped and we gotta tie these into somewhere hot in the house but nothing else is nothing else is exposed here can we get can we get what um wet the bathroom is obviously in his the bathroom is more this way more that way right yeah behind this okay okay hold on. we're not gonna yeah there's nothing here to tie into so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go and make a pilot hole in the living space because this to catch this new gas comes comes from downstairs the boiler room right below here is the boiler room where this gas comes up zone? yeah we could run this downstairs we'd have yeah. to drill through Why here we have its own zone we'd have to drill through here and get it downstairs and tie it in downstairs we'll go straight down into this his... gas right here yeah what did he do he locked his fucking door yeah. oh man there's nothing else in this ceiling What's that? There's nothing else in this ceiling that we can tie into. No. That's hot. You know, the bathroom. I thought the bathroom was going to be right over be there. right here. And I can catch that bathroom. Fuck. If we make a hole in his ceiling. Yeah. And catch the bathroom. Make a we hole. can loop it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We'll come right through this wall. Let me call this guy. Get his ass on the fucking phone. Open his door. Where the hell is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, call this guy. Oh man, drill this hole. I'm thinking. I'm th hey Johnny, can you open this blue door that goes into uh, the basement? Oh, I don't want to go. Oh, okay. I mean, uh, oh, is yeah. it a dust and all that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, what? Can I open the garage? Uh, yeah. Open up the garage because we gotta explain something to you here. Yeah. Okay, all right. Oh man. <laughs> I think that's the only way. That's the only way. It's not it. This is not for the first floor. That was originally told to us, you know? Because there was water there before. Where? In these pipes, so that's why we tied it in, because it was heavy. From the other boiler? No, from this boiler. It was never tied to the other one. No, I'm gonna put a hole in it. I'm gonna put a screw in it right now. Yeah. And no, right now it feels like it's nothing, but it was water there before. That's maybe from that's the other weird. boiler. From the other boiler. Yeah, there was water in it, but it's not hot because we only got the first boiler running. So if it's for the third, so can you run the other boiler then to see if that one? That's most likely on that boiler, but that that other boiler is for the top floor. So let's see to make sure because there was water here before. I'm gonna put heavy. a screw in it right now. Okay. I drained the other boiler. If there's no water in here, that's obviously for that other boiler. Yeah. But we need to tie these lines into somewhere hot. That's already hot. Oh, you know, that first floor is hot already. Yeah. And the only way is that corner, I think. That goes into that. That gas line. That goes into that. Uh, it doesn't turn and break into that room. It goes straight in, straight down. That gas line goes straight down. Sure. Want me to tap on it? Yes, I'm I gonna do. tap on it. You stay here. Yes. Well, tap on it. Oh, as always. So we could take another zone or another. Bring two lines downstairs. And bring two lines downstairs. And tie and it into tie the boiler. Into here, yeah. Tie it into the boiler to complete the loop. Right? So just bring two lines. This further line. Yeah, like this. And this. Yeah, yeah. To the same boiler. And we yeah, to the one on. top. And yeah. that'll turn both of those on. What? That'll turn on. Uh, yeah, that first boiler on the left is for the first floor. I'm sure it's because it's yeah. Yeah. heavy. I know that got heavy. So you just so did. Right. So that, that we never touched the third the third boiler for nothing because it was Right. Amazing. So this line never got hot. There was water in it, but it never got hot. Right? When they ran the water, it ran. Yeah, they ran the water because they tested their work. Yeah, they but pressurized now it feels like it. it has no water. That's I just emptied it. I just drained it. Oh, no, before. No, yeah. before it was like yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to put a screw in it right now. No, I know. I know you drained it and you're going to yeah. put a screw now. Yeah. But the thing was that, that it was water there before it was heavy. That's right. Know? There's water in there, but it, the boiler wasn't running. There's water. It doesn't no, but tell now you. it felt when we, before you did everything, it, it was light. It was like it was nothing. Yeah. yeah. Has like Manny the, even seen it? Yeah, no, but that, that's a supply return for, for the other boiler. boiler. Yeah, that's for the other boiler. Let's get Everything this. else is hot on the first floor. Yeah. So I don't know. That, that supply return is buried somewhere else. 
Yes, that's for another time. This goes up to the second floor. I'm gonna put a screw in it right now and tell. Okay. I know it's empty. I just well, emptied little, it. Little. I just emptied it now. But we gotta drill down here where that gas is and bring it down there. And that's a lot, man. I just need to know if I could see that gas line in the boiler room. Do you know if it goes straight down? What's right below here? Like is that the boiler room, room or is that is that on top of the couch? Does it make a turn? It's gotta make a turn. It makes a turn. It does, right? It's gotta make a turn. And that ceiling is already fucking closed. But I, I, it just, it's Tell just me. weird because um, Tell me. There was water here before. Right. But today, even before we did anything, no, no. it was here with me. It was, it was empty. It was, it was, it was, it was Johnny, empty. I'm gonna put a screw in it right now. Let me put a screw in it. Let me put a screw in it. I drained the other boiler. I Bang. drained it. Bang. Let me see. Yes, a real CF. Not a CH. A real CF. A real clusterfuck. <laughs> a real clusterfuck. You know what? Just like Sitting Bull says, I got two types of dog in me. One that's mean, and one that's good. And the mean one is coming out right now. And this three-quarter gas, this boiler is still running, which is good. But this drain is open. This drain, this boiler is empty here. I'm gonna tap on this gas line for my buddy. My big buddy, my stud buddy. Yep. This gas right here, this one. Three quarter. It's not one inch. All right, guys, let's go put a screw in that. I hear him tapping back. I hear you, yes. I hear you, yep. All right. Yes, that's it. No good. Nope, it makes a turn. Yep. Oh man, a real CS. Not a CH this morning. Not a cunt here, but a clusterfuck. Man, you bet your ass we're getting paid for today. All right. Let's, uh, let's put a screw in this line. Now let's make sure there's no water in it. Here we go. That's the line, right? So, I don't know That's the line. I think they're going to the other boiler. They are. I'm going to put a screw in it right now. Let me put a screw in there. Let's see. <clears throat> Fucking crazy out here. Crazy out here. Well, guys, remember, remember that sewer main that they were doing? It's all done. Lady's got a new sewer. Now she can crap whenever the hell she wants to. And not have it backed up. Yeah, yeah. You guys are coming along for a ride with me. I'm gonna grab my impact gun. I'm gonna put a couple screws right in this guy's head. I mean, in this pipe, right in this pipe. Let's see what we got here. Let's grab my little impact gun. Where are you, baby? Milwaukee, Team Red. <clears throat> All right, guys, let's put a screw in here and see what we got. If this was getting hot, we would have been screwed. Because then that would have mean that we're on the other boiler. Oh, okay. This pump bucket has a hole in it. It does? It does. Wait, why is this getting... This is getting hot here. Man, he switch buckets. That water getting hot? That water's getting it hot. Is. Okay. That is a real CF. A real... That line is getting hot. So maybe that was the line. Maybe that is the line. Let's see. That line is getting hot. We gotta put a bleeder down there, that's for sure. It's ice cold. Yeah, the return is ice cold. The return is cold, and yes, this is hot. Something, let's, 
Yeah, let's put I, a T with a hose bit. Yeah, and, and hose flush bit. it. And I don't like these. I want to touch these two T's. Can we check the garage? Touch them. Hold on, try it. Let me get a. Let me get. Go ahead. You can try. You can try. Let me get some material. Okay. Okay. Right, something weird is going on here, guys. I'm gonna add a purge station in the garage here, and I'm gonna make sure both the supply and return get hot. But something funny is going on here. But let's see what actually is going on. Let's get a three-quarter press T and with a hose bib. And we're going to press this thing on and add a purge station. Here we go. Ain't this something else? The mystery of the supply and return. Let's see what we find. Right now we're going to fill this boiler up and we're going to purge right from that hose bib that we just installed. All right, let's close this purge. Let's close this. Let's close relief valve. Let's open up boiler fill. Let's get some pressure in there. Start this navian up. And let's bleed a little bit. Let's bleed a little bit. There we go. Get some of that air out of there, baby. Get it out. Fast fill this baby. Fast fill this mother. Let's see how many pounds we got in here. Six point nine. Come on, baby. I'm fast filling it. From this PRV, eight pounds, nine pounds, let's see, 10. I'll put about 22 in here and I'll just let it run. Ah, let's see what we got. 12. All right, 26, 25 pounds. Fast fill is off. She's purging. I'm gonna wait for ignition. Let's see. Whoa, we didn't want that. Come on, baby. We didn't want that happening. Really getting wet today. A lot of air in there. Let's see. Flood this guy's house out real quick. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. What? Touch the, other side. touch the other side. You got your you got your purge closed, right? You got your hose bib closed. All right, all right. Boiler's still running. Let me know if that other side gets hot. All right. She's hot. She's hot down here. The living room <laughs> from the garage. Okay, we can do that. It's hot in the garage, though. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me come up. I'll meet you up there.
Okay, right. bye, bye. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's go in the garage and see what we got. Let's see. How are we? So this is hot. Is it? Okay. That is warm. Warm. Like it's not. It's like not flowing. It's warming up. It's warming up. That, I put yeah, this is right hot. You did? Okay. Return, Nothing. Let's see. Oh, yeah. What? Warming, warming up? up? What? The living room? The living room and the uh, out. All right, guys. So we added two purge stations in that garage for that first floor. And. We didn't want to add any bleeders on the radiator itself because like everybody knows in the future, they do have a tendency to leak. So um, we added two hose bibs, quarter turn hose bib, two purge stations down in the garage area. And right now this boiler is fired up and we're just waiting for this primary loop to get hot. So space heating temp, where are we? 119, so let's give it a few minutes for it to get hot and Hopefully that loop upstairs gets hot, so. Oh, not easy out here, but you know what, guys? We filmed the good, the bad, and the ugly, so uh, it is what it is out here. Tune in for later's uh, piece of content. We're going to be working in the Indigo Hotel doing a night job, so um, stay tuned for that. Uh, probably get my electrician on camera, too, if he's not too camera shy, so uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, let's let this boiler run for a few minutes and see what we got upstairs. Here we go. And guys, be like sitting bull. Be like Sitting Bull after he took over Custer's battalion and refused to surrender, but then was shot, was shot in the head. Guys, don't give up. Be like Sitting Bull. Don't give up. Start a movement out here and don't give up, guys. This primary loop is nice and hot. We're going to go up to the garage now and uh, we're going to be like Sitting Bull for the rest of the day. All right, guys, you're not going to want to miss it. Here we go. All right, let's go take a look. Yo, Rich. What do you got? It's hot? Yeah? Wow, good job. Good job. Good job. Nice. Both of them? Both of them. Good. Nice. A lot good of job. air. A lot of yeah, air. Yeah, a lot. Yo, Mike, I'm going to order that same hose you got, man. Order it. Order it. You guys checked upstairs? I'm going to go next one. Nice. Beautiful. All right, good. Check upstairs. Good. Good. Now, here's my only trick. You know what? That so, I don't understand. What? So now, wait, upstairs. I don't understand what that T is. Which what, T? The two T's that are there. I don't what, get what, what do you mean, what two T's? There's two T's there. What are they for? There's two future T's? Sitting there? There's two T's there. I don't know what they're for. What do you mean? Yeah. Didn't we tie into them? What T's? Can we go over? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I got the light here. She's nice and hot now. Beautiful. Beautiful. What tees right here? Okay. These lines are hot too. The other end of that. Hot. The other end of that for you. Over. Take a look. Oh, because it's tea. Oh, hot. Hot, hot? Oh, hot, yeah. Beautiful. Okay. So in the top floor. Ah, in the top floor. See, I don't want to add bleeders up there on yes. the on the piece of baseboard because they leak in the future. Yeah, yeah. So, no, this is good, Mike. Yeah. You got it running. You got the returns hot. Yeah. They're hot. They are hot. Good. Woo! Let's make sure. Good job. Good job. This is good, man. Good. Good stuff. It just had a Let's lot of air. Let's get the hell out of here. It did, right? Let's see. All right, good. Let's see. We're using Testos 830T1. 57 degrees out here in New York. Let's see. Run it, Johnny. Let's see. Yeah, give us some time. Hmm. Yeah, give it some time. Let me see this. What we got here? What do we got right there? Oh, yeah, baby. Beautiful. Okay, good. How's the bathroom in there? We're all these ducks, right? You wanted to take off of work for this? All this dust in here. Oh yeah, I can smell it. How's the bathroom? How's the bathroom? Good? Oh yeah. Bravo, bravo. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes. They should have used monoflow tees here in this instance. Monoflow tees, directional flow tees that send water up and send water down. Monoflow tees would have worked great in this instance, but they didn't. But hey, big thumbs up to them. They did put their closely spaced tees on here, so it is what it is. We added two purge stations upstairs uh, for the foyer and the living room, and everything is hot now, so... Um, guys, on that note, hope everybody enjoyed this content. It is 10.15 a.m. And uh, we're going to go pick up some material for later. We're heading to Brooklyn. And uh, we're going to be working in the Indigo Hotel. So, guys, we are done here in this boiler room for now uh, until he renovates the top floor. And then uh, we'll do all that baseboard and roughing that bathroom and kitchen up there. So, guys, hope everybody enjoyed this content. Leave a comment down below. And um, if you guys got any rubber bands, come on, be like Sitting Bull. Have some heart. Send me some damn rubber bands, will you? I want to give a big shout-out to my buddy Matt. Big shout-out to my buddy Dev. Big shout-out to... What do you got? Where are you headed? Hold on, he's got to pick up people for the floor, for the wood floor. Oh, really? Masonite? Huh? What is he picking up? Some Masonite? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, the felt paper, yes, yes. Guys, be like Sitting Bull. And don't give up out here. Don't want to forget my buddy Tommy Mac. T-Mac, big thumbs up to you, buddy. Keep tuning in and uh, keep leaving a comment, brother. God bless you and your family. Everybody, stay safe out there. Let's do yours next, baby.